everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna make a simple DIY today and that's gonna be to make a table tray using a wooden canvas that I got from the dollar store. So for this DIY, I have my canvas, which I got from the dollar store. I also have a few scrap pieces of wooden dowels from a previous DIY, which are already painted black. I figured I could reuse them in this one as well. And uh, I've got these uh, placemats, which I got from HomeSense, which I'm gonna use to place on the inside of this wooden table tray. And my trusty glue weld bond over here, which is amazing, by the way. I could probably just use wood glue, but I don't know, this is just amazing. So I'm gonna stick with this one. And what else? Oh yeah, I need my, I need my uh, handle. One second. And I've got these handles, which I got from Ikea a little while back. So time to use them in this little DIY. But let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is open up these placements here. Okay, so I've got one here. It's really cute. It's got this nice little chevron pattern to it when you look closely. Um, and I thought it looks really nice on the wood. I'm just gonna mark this and I'm going to cut out exactly as much as I need for this table tray. Because it's got a pattern, I can't just cut it anywhere, otherwise the center of the chevron here won't be in the center of the tray. So I'm going to need to measure it and make sure that I'm cutting exactly center. Okay, so I've got 15 on the long side. And then on the shorter side, I've got 10 and three quarters. So now using those measurements on the long side, I wanna go from the center and measure seven and a half from the center. Okay, seven and a half. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. going to cut a little bit outside the lines just in case and I can always trim it down later. inside of my coffee table tray. To do that, I'm just gonna use my miter box over here to miter the edges at 45 degrees so that I can have nice clean edges on the inside of my tray. to glue these wooden dowels in place. And I'm gonna use these clamps to hold them in place until the glue bonds. black acrylic paint to quickly touch up any of the spots where the paint on the dowels got a little bit chipped when I mitered or cut the pieces to size. this little tray so I got these two little handles from Ikea and I want the handles to be on the top of the tray like this so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the correct locations for the handles and then mark that so that I know where to drill but 
before I squeeze them in, I want to make sure to pre-drill my holes. So the thing about these handles is they come with these nice little screws from Ikea which have a bit of a rounded tip. And because the screw is going to go into the bottom of the tray, I don't want that rounded tip to be sticking out. So I'm going to use this little drill bit over here, which is going to create a bit of a larger hole just at the back so that the screw can fit in and be flush with the tray and it won't scratch any tabletops or anything like that. Don't forget, when you are drilling, it's really important to keep the drill at a 90 degree angle, otherwise your screw hole is going to end up being crooked and that's going to cause some problems. two-tone coffee table tray which I made from a dollar store wooden canvas, a placemat, and some handles. So I think this turned out really really cute and I can't wait to show you how I style this. I think this turned out incredible. It was a really simple DIY, especially compared to some of the other ones that I've done recently. It was quick and fun and it looks gorgeous and it adds just the right vibe to the coffee table. So if you like my little coffee table tray or if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my upcoming DIY and home decor videos as soon as I upload them. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever made your own coffee table tray or if you have any other dollar store DIY ideas. Bye guys, see you next time.